What's going on everybody? Adam here with the trailer Today we have a 2021 Toyota 4Runner and we're going to be taking a look at the Malone steel top roof rack system. If you're looking for an extremely cost effective way to get crossbars up onto your roof on your 4Runner, these are definitely going to be one of the ones I would pick. If you're looking for some T-Track accessories to put on top of these bars, these aren't going to be the ones you want because these square bars aren't going to have that track on top but they are going to be able to accept all those wraparound accessories that you may have. It has all the features that you would really want. It has the multiple size options. So these are the 58 inch bars, but we also have the 50 inch bars, but also the 65 inch bars if you really need a lot of space up on your roof. If you're looking for a load assisting kayak carrier like the Yakima Showdown or the Thule Holovator, these are going to have about three and a half inches from the foot here to the very farthest most point. So definitely go with the showdown if you're looking for something like that. Looking at the feet here, we are gonna have locking cores that do come with it, which is always nice. So no one's gonna be able to run off with these because it is really easy to get it on and off your vehicle. So this way it'll be locked on there and we are gonna get two keys with the kit. And you don't really have to worry about it scratching your bars. We do have some rubber boots on the little clamps, so that's not gonna scratch your bars whenever you put them on. These bars are gonna be made of a steel construction, have a really thick powder coated finish on the outside, so it's not really going to rust away over time, and they're not really gonna get scratched up either. If you are concerned about adding a little bit of height to your roof rack, we actually aren't technically adding any height to the roof, just because the distance from the roof to the very top is about two and three quarters of an inch, but the antenna back here is about three inches. So that's gonna be the tallest point whenever we don't have any other accessories up on top of here. If you do wanna get a cargo box, you might wanna get something that's gonna lift it up a little bit more just because the antenna might be an issue for whenever you're trying to mount that down. But that's just for cargo boxes. These are gonna be great for cargo baskets. I like our e-trailer cargo basket. It looks really good up on top of a sporty looking car. And if you do have a sunroof, you don't really have to worry about it hitting that because it will be nice and far enough away to where you're not gonna have any contact issues there. It is gonna have a weight capacity of 165 pounds. So if you plan on putting a lot of stuff up here, make sure you don't go over that capacity. The bars are gonna have a width of an inch and a quarter and a height of seven eighths of an inch. So just make sure whatever accessories you plan on putting up here are gonna be compatible with that size bar. All in all, I definitely like the cost effectiveness of this roof rack just because it's really entry level. So you're not really breaking the bank just to get some accessories up and on there. So then you have a little bit more money to buy some accessories to get whatever you want up and onto your roof comes with the lock so you don't have to buy it separately. I like that and also it's just super easy to install. So let's go over that installation process with you now. To begin the installation, take your bar and take the end caps off if you haven't already. And then we want to take our caps, make sure that the Allen key is going to be facing the outside of the bar so we can access it later. Then you can go ahead and go in like that. They don't have to be completely lined up yet. Once we go ahead and fit these on there, just like this, then we can go up on our roof and get it into place. So now you wanna go ahead and put it up and get it into place. You wanna make sure it's nice and even on both sides so we can either get the measuring tape out or just eye it out to see exactly what we want. We wanna make sure that we're gonna get at least 24 inches of bar spread. So that's from the center of this bar to the center of the other one. I already have this one set up and this is plenty wide. I usually like to just spread them out as much as possible, but it all just depends on what kind of accessories you have. So now we'll take our Allen key and fit it in there and start to tighten it up. And that's gonna tighten it to the bar, but also it'll tighten it around the roof rack that we have on our forerunner and it makes it nice and tight so give that a couple twists make sure it's nice and firm and into place once it is nice and tight give it a good shake make sure it's secure and then what we can do is take our little cap put that into place just like this Lock that on there, and then we can take our cap and 
put that on as well. And we're going to do that same exact process for all the other sides. And that just about does it for a look at the Malone steel top roof rack system on our 2021 Toyota 4Runner.